So when it comes to today's video, we'll be reviewing a weapon that can't really decide what it wants to be in its Incarnon, a status weapon, a crit weapon, or both. So what weapon is that? Well, it's none other than the Latron Prime Incarnon. So, how is the Latron Prime by itself? Well, when it comes to the Latron stats, they are quite nice. It has a 22% crit chance, it has 2.8 times crit multiplier, and has above average status at 26. But, what happens when you swap to your Incarnon? Well, the stats get better. Those stats are now an above average status at about 30, it has a very high crit chance at 44, and has a very high crit multiplier at 3.4, and also gains an AoE ball whenever it's in its Incarnon mode. So, how does that uh, ball work? Well, it bounces off of enemies, walls, and anything classified as a surface, applying impact, puncture, and heat. But obviously, how do we how do we mod the weapon? How do we add evolutions, etc.? Well, we're going to cover the evolutions before we cover the build, so we know what way we should be building. So, let's go ahead and cover the evolutions. We'll skip evolution 1 since all it does is give you the weapon. So, Evolution 2 will give us two options. We get Riddle Target and Swift Punishment. Riddle Target will give us plus 6 flat damage, and on a Puncture status effect, we'll gain plus 25% multi for 8 seconds, which will stack up to 4 times, and we'll get Swift Punishment, which will also give us 6 flat damage, but also will give us plus 30% direct damage per status effect if our sprint speed is 1.2 or higher. Basically, when it comes to these, the second one is... Not the best one to work with unless you're always playing Gauss or Volt, so for today we'll be using Riddle Target. Next up is Evolution 3. Evolution 3 gives us Marksman's Hand, Extended Volley, and Marksman's Focus. Marksman's Hand will give us minus 60% recoil, Extended Volley will give us plus 15 magazine capacity, but this only affects the non incarnon and uh, Marksman Focus will give us minus 30% zoom. Basically, all of these are very dealer's choice, but I'm going to choose Extended Volley because I like having the extra bullets in the non-incarnon. Finally, we have Evolution 4. Evolution 4 gives us Flensing Spikes, Deadhead, and Critical Parallel. Now, when it comes to these, uh, Flensing Spikes will get rid of 20% of an enemy's armor per puncture status effect, and this has no effect on enemies who are immune to rem armor removal, but it can fully strip an Acolyte's armor, and, well, any other enemy armor, I guess. Deadhead gives us plus 100% headshot multiplier, and this bonus does stack additively with other headshot bonuses like primary deadhead. And finally, critical parallel will give us an increase in crit chance by 24% and a crit multiplier of 0.2. Now, all these options are fine choices. Everyone has their choice. Everyone actually in this category works quite well. But for this build, we're going to be using critical parallel. Now let's go ahead and get into the builds. So when it comes to modding the weapon, how do you do it? Well, it's very dependent on what you're looking for. As I said, this weapon can be status, this weapon can be crit, it's all dependent on how you built your evolutions. The way I built my evolutions, we're going to be trying our best to go for a crit build, but obviously since I do have Riddle Target, you could easily swap out a Critical Parallel for uh, flensing spikes to apply armor removal, but it's very much so up to your choice. So I have two builds. Sadly, neither of them are early game, but obviously if you want an early game build, swap out the galvanized mods for the normal versions. Example, galvanized chamber, swap that out to a uh, split chamber, and instead of galvanized aptitude, just swap it out for normal rifle aptitude. Otherwise, every other mod in here is easily accessible. So. With this build, we're going for crit and status. As you see, I have corrosive and cold. Now, the, I like this idea, but I don't think it's going to work fully. The reason I don't think it works fully is because when you swap to the Incarnon, instead of having pure heat now, you now have blast. Now, the issue with that is blast is kind of poo-poo. So, these are obviously level 155 enemies with uh, still path enabled. So, how does it work? Well, obviously... It's gonna kill. It's gonna do the job I wanted to do. It does it quite well. It hits quite hard, but obviously it does have its downsides. It's blast damage. Blast damage is not that good. But obviously, thanks to uh, primary frostbite, we're getting more crit damage, more multi shots. So everything is still hitting quite hard. But it does work, as you can see. Nothing really is staying alive as long as I can hit my shots. Stuff dies in a relatively relatively fast manner. And basically, it's not struggling that much. Obviously, my aim is pretty bad, so we're missing a couple times, but that's about it. 
obviously like i said this does need some work on it because it is cold so if anything i do recommend if you want to use a corrosive build try heat instead of cold but obviously what if we went for just crit instead of trying to mix crit and status well let's go ahead and see the other build the other build is similar to the previous one except in this case we're going to be running heat corrosive and hunter's munitions now if i had an extra forma on here i would actually form a shred and then up change out thermite rounds for vital sense for more crit damage but it's up to you it's not necessary in my opinion you don't need to add another forma or any of that so how does this work just by itself obviously there's still status in here but we're trying to prioritize the crit well if i could hit my headshots we'd be, we'd be all right but i can't aim worth a damn so we're obviously hitting quite hard and it is still killing the enemies when i need it to quite well as well so what about the incarnon and as you see slash doing slashes thing it kills quite easily well obviously since we're using hunter munitions whenever you see these crits we're applying slash oh but you should use viral yeah you could use viral and that would work quite well but i like my corrosive build but obviously i will show what happens if you used viral so just easily go into here type in viral find my rhyme routes and put on that instead of corrosive how does it work now more than likely the same as it just did it's not going to struggle it's not going to have any problems it should kill with ease i can hit my headshots though obviously it hits quite hard and still once again ow does what it should it hits hard it applies its slash it applies its viral and once the slash is on poof goes the enemy but if y'all caught the most recent dev stream which will be at the same time this video is being posted they're changing how slash works so obviously i'm trying to step away from slash builds so for today we're going to stick with my corrosive build but i will obviously show viral builds next up what frames mix well with this weapon obviously like i said what frames work well with this well latron and cardon is an aoe ball so i thought why not mix it with mag because that is the option you should do the reason i say mix it with mag is for one simple simple reason if you have a group of enemies, as long as you have your Incarnon, so let's just get any percentage of it, what happens if you just magnetize any of them? Well, they all suck in. Shoot a ball. And wow, that, that was pretty easy. Do it again. Hey, wait, that was easy. Hey, where'd the enemies go? See the fun there? You're just sucking them in and exploding. But, obviously, who else does it easily mix with? Well, take a wild guess. Mirage. Reason it works well with Mirage, same reason it works well with Mag. Only difference is no, no bubble. Get your Incarn on, pop your Hall of Mirrors. Enjoy all the bouncing balls. Obviously, I'm not trying to hit them directly. I'm just trying to show you how fun it is to bounce them all around the place. But obviously, anybody who is a gunslinger can work quite well with these. Uh, Nova it could work well with. Uh, you could probably get to work quite well with Banshee. You can even get to work well with people like Mesa. Uh, maybe even... Uh, I, was about to, I was about to say uh, Volt, but I was meant to say Wisp. You could probably even get to work well with Wisp. But, obviously, this is a controlled area. Everyone in here is not moving. What happens if we go to Steel Path and try it in there? I'm going to get my build ready, and I'll see you in Steel Path. So, here we are in a simple... Uh, survival on still pass so let's go ahead and get our incarn on ready so obviously how does it perform whenever there's actually enemies trying to kill you well as you can see uh we're not struggling only downside is i don't run uh sure-footed or prime sure-footed on a lot of my builds so i'm obviously going to get knocked down because of the uh blast of the uh latron but as you can tell it works quite well with crowds because well it has a bouncing projectile and there's multiple of mirages or well, clones so getting the ball to bounce around is quite easy now uh while i may have picked mirage the person i actually do recommend most people should pick with him with using the latron should actually be mag because of mag's magnetize it is quite easy to just clear a whole room because they all funnel into one spot and get stuck inside the bubble with a ton of latron balls 
bouncing around and attacking them to death. But obviously, it is dealer's choice. Pick who you want to use. So, uh, while I wait for just uh, an Acolyte to spawn, because I think that will be the highest tier of showing how this weapon performs, uh, I'm just going to keep murdering all these, well, corrupted. So, and well, I think that was an Exodus unit, and well, it didn't struggle. So, I'll get it back to y'all whenever a Acolyte does spawn. Well, an Acolyte has finally spawned, so let's see who we get. Ah, Mania. Lovely. Well, how does Mania stand? Well, okay. <laughs> not long. Your answer is not long. They don't, they don't, they don't stand for a long time. Ooh, Forcey Lessons. Double? Oh yeah, I do have a resource shop increase here. Thanks to, uh, daily logins. So yeah, as you see, the weapon is actually still not having any issues. Hell, I don't even think my new core is having problems. Nope. Granted, I will be honest, Mirage is quite easily one of the best frames for gunslinging, but obviously, uh, there are better. You could use literally anybody, but I think she does it the best for just pure... Just purely showing off how a weapon can be at peak, I think Mirage is best at it. So, I'm going to go ahead and head to Extraction, get to my Orbiter, and give you my final thoughts on the Latron Prime and Carnon. So, overall, how is the Latron Prime and Carnon? I now understand why so many people consider to be an S tier in Cardon. It's phenomenal for single targets, phenomenal for multi-target, it's great AoE, and like I had said, if you mix it with Mag instead of Mirage, you'll have even more AoE because, well, her whole point of her two is to suck in more enemies and, well, pop. There you go. Simple as that. The ball will bounce inside of it, it does enough damage to kill anything, and anything that doesn't die will die to a slash proc, or similar. Hence why on my mag, you'll see that I have magnetized discharge, give it more range, rifle amp, give my guns more damage. I basically ran a max range build, just to make sure that my magnetize could suck in as many targets at once and kill as many as I need. That's why I like using Latron, I like using the Cedo. Uh, it actually, funnily enough, works with the Dread and Carnon, too. It's a little funky, but it does work. But, obviously, the Latron Prime and Carnon, and in general, on the Wraith, the Normal, whichever one you want to put it on, I recommend the Wraith or the Prime. It's phenomenally strong, it hits hard, and does the job that you need. Is it better than the Torrid? Most people would say no. I'd say it's pretty good. I don't like the Torrid one, it's kind of bland to me, but... Obviously, opinions are opinions. So... I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you want to see other weapons, do tell me what you want to see in the comments. Remember, I do still have the hate to do, and next week we do have a Protea video, a Velox, an Okina. If I get a Riven for it, I'll do the Okina, but I do have a Velox Riven, so there will be a Velox um, video that comes out whenever I do acquire them. Obviously, I have been rolling it. It's now at uh, Crit Chance Cold Tox. I think this was what it was in the last video, but that works perfectly fine. It gives you an 8 viral, gives you good Crit Chance, but obviously... If you guys want to see more hit that like button and do subscribe and hit that bell for post notifications to to make sure you get told when my videos come out because i do enjoy making these a lot so i hope to see you guys in the next video peace out